We both enjoy and are awestruck by the unbelievably rapid advancements in human ingenuity and technology. Yet, how fragile do we now find ourselves before the juggernaut of our own inventions? However, as we indicated earlier in this program, there are no Y2K experts. No one knows exactly what, if anything, will happen. And our individual and collective response to Y2K is actually far more important than Y2K itself. The experts that we're dealing with uh, indicate that it's going to hit hard and heavy for a while, maybe, be, maybe look like what some are calling a meltdown scenario for a week or two, and then it's going to level out more to brown out. On a scale of one to five, how bad the Y2K is going to be globally, five being the worst, I would say globally they're at a five. In the States, we have been at a four. I think we're going to end up about a two. My personal sense of this is uh, in the range of three. I think there are going to be major disruptions. I think there are going to be uh, things that uh, we can deal with, but it won't be easy. Putting January 1 on a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the worst and 1 being nothing at all, my assumption is somewhere around a 2.5. Again, an annoyance, a nuisance, a lot of different things that don't work. Catastrophic? I don't think so. I would say a 3. I think maybe we're looking at maybe a three. I think based on the utility companies, I think there will be some power outages or we'll have brownouts in some cases. I would say that it would probably fall around a three or a four. My personal opinion is it can only be a five. It can't be any less than a five. I would probably have to rate this right in the middle at two and a half. And the reason is because we know that this is an inevitable circumstance. I would put the year 2000 problem for the world at a three with a wait and see attitude. In a very real way, we're all responsible for Y2K and there's no one to blame, morally or otherwise. We've all benefited from the technologies which have improved our lives and we have therefore encouraged those same technologies to develop at ever more accelerated rates. And yes, perhaps we are now realizing that we've taken them a bit for granted and have indeed become too dependent upon the byproducts of our collective innovations. And so, we must not only prepare as families and work together as neighbors, but we need also use this moment in the development of our civilization as an opportunity to look at the long range effects of all our human endeavors. Looking beyond Y2K, Whatever perils our very human ambitions and short-sightedness may lead us to, our even more powerful human spirit will find a way to overcome. So, let us use the Y2K challenge as an opportunity to reflect on where we're headed as a civilization, perhaps the most important opportunity we've ever had. If the omission of two simple digits can have worldwide impact several decades after its inception, we must ask ourselves, before we rush too far forward, what are we doing now in genetic engineering, with cloning, with the development of bacteriological warfare life forms, with death ray technologies, and pollution of land, air, and water that could have long-term, unpredictable worldwide effects? And what can we do as the inheritors, the caretakers of this world? What can we do to protect our home, our island, in space.